So, I don't know what it was, 20 years ago maybe? I don't know, 15, 20 years. Probably 20. You know, he's written, the, the, the book Intercessor Prayer become a bestseller. And, you know, I was in, I was speaking a lot and just traveling a lot. I was pastoring at the same time. Uh, I, I led a congregation. I didn't pastor, but. <laughs> but, but I was, I had two full-time jobs. I traveled every week from like Wednesday or Thursday through Saturday night, get home. Do Sunday morning, take care of the church through Wednesday and go again. It was a brutal season. I did that for almost 20 years. And I wrote a book a year at least during that stretch. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> and so what they wanted to hear was my, my teachings on prayer. And so that's what I did. I taught on prayer, and spoke on prayer. After a while, you know, it was, it was so easy. It was like second nature. And I really didn't need revelation anymore. I had enough wisdom and knowledge. I really didn't need revelation. Without realizing it, I was getting good enough that I could do it without Holy Spirit. You don't even need the anointing to move people. You don't need it to impress people. The gift will do that. The information, especially if it's biblical and helpful and informative, will do that. My heart was not to allow this to happen. My lifestyle was doing it. And biblically, you know, if you're going to get, the, we're going to get the comparison right. I'm, don't let me forget that I'm coming back to what God said to me during that period. Somebody remind me of that. Not you, you. Okay. <laughs> but symbolically, a, an old wine skin. So she get transferring that over to, to the spirit realm, the process. An old wineskin is not a person that doesn't have truth. It's not a person that doesn't have understanding or knowledge. It's a person that's not walking in present truth. It's not able to hear revelation, today's revelation. It can't put today's, the now word in it because of the form and structure and rigidness of yesterday. So, yesterday's revelation becomes today's wisdom. So, you, you, what you received then walked in and it was alive and vibrant and and over time, as that process, as it's processed in you, and you, you learn to apply it, and it becomes deeper in your psyche and your, your being, and now it's worked its way in, and it's not fresh anymore. Now, sorry, that's this is not bad, but now it's it's just it just sort of settles in, and it's wisdom, knowledge, but it's not revelation anymore. So an old wineskin is a person that's walking in yesterday's revelation, which has become today's wisdom.
And then the Lord said to me this. You don't have to remind me. I got it. He said this to me. You need to be careful. Because you're in danger of becoming a wise old wineskin. I, didn't, I never said or thought or taught the things I just said to you. So when he said to me the phrase, why is old wineskin? This was a shocking statement to me. I thought, a wise old wine. I've never thought of an old wineskin as wise. It's to me, it was bad. You know, you couldn't handle the new. It was like a wise old. He wasn't being sarcastic. When he said wise, he was being literal. And I went before the Lord with that for days, weeks. Then I realized I knew some. I knew some wise old wine skin. I knew some people who were part of the previous and used to, they were part of the outpouring of the past. And then they settled into a lifestyle of comfort and teaching and just walking it out and knowing how to do it. And I'm not even, I'm not saying hypocritical. You got to hear, you, 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 they weren't bad people. And if you were around them or you listened to them, you would say, man, they have so much wisdom. But they no longer moved in a spirit of revelation. And they, they, weren't, they were no longer marrying word and spirit. They just pretty much had so much word in them and teaching and understanding. They just walked it out. But then as God started pouring out new revelation and understanding of diff new truths and principles and this and that, they were moving in it. They were satisfied with yesterday. And I said, I'm on my way to becoming a wise old wineskin. I said, you need to help me. Because I want to be fresh. And I want to be hearing what you're saying today. Yes. Not just 20 years ago. Yeah. And I want to be a part of every outpouring of your spirit and season of restoration that takes place on this planet until you take me to heaven. Yeah. I don't want to miss one. 